Hi. It's very bunched up there in the race for, for the top four. You've obviously got Chelsea at the weekend, uh, City uh, and, and West Ham. Do you see the race going all the way to, down to the wire in terms of the top four, given there's so much, so many teams compact in there? Yeah, I think so. I think it's going to be a, a long running. I don't think uh, the positions will be decided early. You know, with the season as well, it's unpredictable. We've seen teams going through bad phases, then a, a run, and then who knows what's going to happen um, with injuries, uh, with how p players react to the circumstances. So, because it's a, the longest long or shortest long season ever uh, with loads of games so for me every game is is massive and of course Chelsea we know how difficult that's going to be and uh, how important it's going to be for us Rob Dawson Hi Oli I mean, it, Chelsea on Sunday obviously just kicks off um, a little run against teams that are all kind of around you West Ham City as well in that little run does it feel like one of those crucial little runs that you get sometimes in seasons where you can kind of decide where, where you're going to finish well, it's still 38 games for every every team. So uh, if you get a run, either good or bad, it might impact you, uh, of course, uh, as the group and the culture. For us, bouncing back after a couple of setbacks we've had going through now, and uh, it's important. It's an important period, but our group mentality is really good, and we look forward to these games. Of course, we... We know Thomas has come in uh, now. It's changed a little bit at Chelsea, so um, it's uh, it's going to be a, f a great challenge for us. Fraser Dainton. Ollie, what do you make of, of the job that Tuchel has done so far, particularly defensively? It looks like he's made them very, very difficult to, to score against. Yeah, uh, you know, you can see the results. You, you can see the, the stats, the possession they have. Uh, keep teams away from their own goal, uh, keep the possession. So he's done really well. It's never easy coming in uh, into uh, into a season halfway through. So um, he he must be pleased as well. So um, hopefully we can stop that run. That's my job now. Paul Hurst. Hi, Ali. Um, just a question about um, Anthony Martial. He seems to be going on a bit of a, a, a bad run at the moment, not his confidence seems to be kind of affected. What would you see, what do you want to see from him going forward? You know, uh, Anthony knows what we uh, we want and uh, Anthony's working really hard to uh, to do well for the team and that's that's what's pleasing me that I, I see him every day in training. Uh, he's not going to He's not going to sit down and wait for uh, things to happen. He, he knows he'll, he'll have to make it happen himself and uh, we encourage him, we coach him, and uh, we know that he's he's got this quality and class. So uh, everyone everyone goes through a little difficult patch at the moment, uh, or at, at times. And Anthony, uh, I, th I think we saw against oh, tonight as well. He, he's working harder, and that's that's the main thing. James Burford. Hi, Oli. How would you compare the journeys that Chelsea and Man United are on at the moment? Because it feels like both sets of teams have you know, a good core group of young players? Well, I can't really comment on uh, on Chelsea's journey. That's not uh, any of my business, to be fair. Uh, I think uh, every club will will have to run their own uh, journey. We we are on a good path. We've, uh, we've, we feel that we have improved, but we're nowhere near where we want to be. And that's... Uh, higher up the table and winning tro trophies. So the, the group, the hunger in the group and the mentality, mentality in the group is good. And that's the main thing now that we keep on improving. And uh, hopefully we can uh, get ready for Sunday now. Simon Peach. Um, two questions. One, I don't know if you could explain the, the absence of one matter. Uh, and secondly, Victor Lindelof and Eric Bailly seem to be competing to play against Maguire. Is it a case of you, you decide by the game or, or what when it comes to their selection? No, they, both of them played uh, well tonight. So Eric and Victor uh, and Harry, three very good centre-backs that I can rely on and Axel as well. Uh, so I've got four to choose from. Axel played in midfield, but uh, no, it's sometimes it's 
the opposition. Sometimes it's the form. Sometimes it's uh, uh, little things. And uh, I think the two of them uh, will will keep on playing, and they might be playing together as well. Uh, and uh, Juan, unfortunately, will be out for for a couple of weeks. Uh, and uh, we so he missed tonight. Yeah. Sanderson. Oli, you say you're still quite a long way from where you want to be. What yeah. will it take to get there? Uh, continual improvement. Um, keep on moving in the right direction. We know that we we have scored quite a few goals. Of course, we need to be a better team defensively. I feel certainly uh, the amount of goals we've conceded even though we had 11 in the first three games like those three games don't almost don't count in my head uh, the start of the season because we were so far away from uh, a man united team uh, with in the preparation no pre-season so but even then we've conceded too many goals so we need to improve on that de uh, definitely um, and win win Tighter games, you know, we've had many, many uh, games against, you know, City, Chelsea, both of them nil-nil, Liverpool nil-nil. So, get the goals in those games. So, last two questions for Per Carlson and then Laurie Whitwell. Yes, uh, Oli, I, I didn't hear everything of part two, so sorry if somebody already asked this, but, but there's a big week, obviously, coming up for you in Chelsea, Crystal Palace and Man City. Uh, is this the three games now, games you more or less have to win to, to keep the title race going? Well, we just have to focus and tick one game off at a time. Uh, and as you say, the three games are massive. Uh, we've got Chelsea just behind us. We've got City away in front of us. Um, and uh, of course, we can't let them run away uh, further away if we have ambitions of, of catching them. And we can't let uh, give uh, Chelsea too much hope to catch us either. So um, uh, every game is important. And now until the uh, international break will be uh, a big period. Six, seven games that we uh, will probably... We always say, let's let's look at April, May to uh, w how we are then. And then so let's get to the international break now. And then we can, uh, then we can focus on the running. All right, well. Early. Um, how would you rank the fitness of some of your players like Bruno and Marcus? Obviously, 45 minutes for each of them tonight. Is that just a case of keeping them fresh, but with enough minutes in the legs to go for Sunday and the rest of the week? Yeah, I've got to say, they are uh, very, very fit, good athletes, recover well. Normally, they play every game for 90 minutes. So today, I was very pleased to get them to through 45 minutes because... 45 minutes on a Thursday is a good preparation for a Sunday. Uh, definitely uh, better than non, no minutes. And then maybe you train too much tomorrow because they're eager, they want to train, and then they might overcook it. So uh, very pleased with, uh, with the two, two of them not having any injuries because that's always the risk I take uh, with uh, playing them. Minutes, that's fine, but every every tackle or a sprint, you you're you're a bit worried, aren't you? 